Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel um, where today um, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to be using, reviewing some tarot books um, that I've had um, either recently or um, over the years. Um, obviously there is so many, you know, books and things available now. It's like overload of information. And obviously people offer courses as well, but like with me, I like a good old fashioned book um, to kind of look through and take my time and, you know, put page markers in or whatever. Um, and what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be reviewing some beginner's books to some intermediate books, depending on how far you want to get or go on your tarot journey. And so... You know, they're all based on the Rider Waite Smith, um, so they're all very accessible and, you know, each one offers kind of a different take on the tarot. Um, even though I've been reading the tarot for many years now, I still love to buy tarot books if I think they're worthwhile buying. And because I think everybody's got something valid in their interpretation, something you may have missed or, you know, some takes are modern, some are more occult based. Um, and so I'll show you what I think um, it's worthwhile buying. Um, I had this one recently. I think it was last year, the, the end of last year. And this is the Numinous Tarot Guide, A New Way to Read the Cards. And this is by, um, with Rashunda, uh, Rashunda Tramble. And Rashunda is Stay Woke Tarot over on Instagram. Um, it is a really, really good book. I mean, it's suitable for beginners. Um you know, there's what is the tarot a short history, how to use this book, and each card is explained in detail all throughout the book. What I do love about it is there's a little metaphoric story for each card. Um, there's a how to use your book there. Um, you know, there's a, there's a little introduction here which I'll read. The RWS deck has spawned many derivatives and systems since its launch in 1910. Now there are esoteric decks, pagan decks, angel decks, LBGTQIA, centered decks, bipod centered decks, and many others. So this is basically, you know, telling you like what kind of decks are available. You know, you can use it with a bog standard Rider Waite Smith deck, or you can use it with anything that's Rider Waite Smith based. I don't, however, um, suggest that you read start to learn, read a pip deck with this because the tarot de marseille is a completely different system and so is the thoth tarot too so it's but you know something that's pictorial something like pretty basic um you know you can pick up a lot from these books and they can add to your own interpretations of the cards so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to i'm obviously i'm not going to read through this to take me all day um but like i mean I'll show you what the story of the fall is. Imagine coming home after a 12-hour day in the office. As you walk through the living room, you pass your housemates lunch on the sofa. They look up to you longingly and ask, what's for dinner? You always either cook dinner or pick up a takeaway on the way home for everyone at the flat. You're the most responsible of them all, but tonight is different. You were swamped all day and missed lunch, which meant you hadn't eaten since that morning, so you treated yourself to an early dinner at that new Viet Vietnamese place around the corner before heading home. I have no clue, you answer, as you rub your full belly, but good luck finding out. It's free not to have all the answers or dinner for everyone. So that is a brilliant little tale of the fall. And then obviously, you know, we go on to some, you know, other meanings, uh, the historical meaning, and then like, you know, the bog standard, the fall can help you to start a new phase in life or take on a new challenge, etc. And then there's some, what I love about the book is there's lots of journal prompts after every card. So for instance, think of a time in your life when you felt under pressure to know everything and to carry it all. Think of a person whom you admire for the way they always take the initiative. And then what fears are holding you back? So these are self-questioning prompts for you to kind of work through and obviously get a deeper meaning for the full card instead of just saying, oh yeah, it's just a phase of your new life, start a journey and da da da. So this really, really do, do, dives deep. And every card is, you know, basically treated in the same way. And it is a really lovely little book. Um, it's round roughly about £10, I think. Lovely little lard by published by Asta Publishing, I think, octopusbooks.co.uk. Uh, 
Um, there's a number of the numinous publications as well. Um, so this is a really cool little book to start out on your tarot journey. I'm not going to I'm not going to discuss books like um, Seventy Eight Degrees of Wisdom and Benabel Wen's Holistic Tarot because you know they've been done to death by you know other reviewers and I wanted to keep it like kind of basic so you know you have a rough idea about what you can get and you know what's on offer if you're starting out on your tarot journey or maybe a more seasoned reader looking for a new take on the cards. The second one I've got is the new Tarot Handbook. I've had this for a number of years. This is by Rachel Pollock. This is like a watered-down version of the 78 Degrees of Wisdom. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Rachel explains everything in detail. And after each card here, you've got like a reading for the full. So you've got little spreads at the end of each card. Um, and she gives all lots of meanings. Um, from the Rider Waite Smith deck, that you've got the keywords there as well, and you've also got the divinatory meanings, reversal meanings, and obviously a reading for the Empress card as well. And this goes through the the whole deck as well, the same as the one by Rash. Um, this is a, a lovely little book um, to keep, you know, with you by your side if you want a new take on the cards. Um, this is still available, I think. Um, it was published by Llewellyn, I think, 2014. Um, oh, two, uh, 2012, uh, I think it was first published. Um, so, yeah, that might have a different co cover, but like I mean, this is still readily available. So this is a basic um, Rider Waite Smith kind of 101 as well, if you want something like that. Um, so that's another super cool one. One I picked up a couple of years ago, which I absolutely love, is Madame Pemita's Magical Tarot. And this is probably one of my favourite um, more modern tarot books. Um, there's lots and lots of information in here. Um, you know, Madame Pemita gives so much information. Um, because every card is kind of seen as an adventure, so you can actually apply all the cards to your life. Um, and obviously, in the cards, what she does as well, um, she deciphers the symbols in the Rider Waite Smith. So you've got the keys to the treasure chest, key symbols of the Ace of Swords. You've got the cloud, the crown, as you can see in the book, uh, in the the card. The distant mountains and the hand and then we go on to olive branch palm frond six yard sword and the wizard's words of wisdom what the ice of sword signifies in a reading so clear communication the truth comes out the universe is giving you a yes and behind the mysterious door you've got journal questions what subject do I need to view with impartial clarity? And then there's a cool affirmation, I open up to clarity and truth. And every card is treated in this way. Um, it's an absolutely brilliant book. Um, I've read through it. I've used some of the different meanings because, you know, obviously, you know, as, as, as a seasoned reader, you can kind of get stuck, you know, in your own interpretation. So it's always really cool to have you know somebody else's slant on the cards now this is one i highly recommend it's readily available on amazon i think it was published a couple of years ago um i've also got the candle magic book by her as well yeah 2018 this was published so this is readily available and this is published by red wheel and wiser um so yeah that's a really really good one i recommend this next book um is an oldie and it is absolutely fantastic. If you can put up to aside the um, kind of Christian concept of Eileen Connolly, uh, you find reading it. It is a really, really good book. Um, I've had this for a number of years now. I don't know whether you can get this or not, but um, anymore. But I mean, you can pick it up used. I should imagine this was first published in nineteen seventy nine. Um, so. This is a reprint from 1995, so this is how long I've had this one. This is brilliant as well. There's all meditations in here. There's lots of esoteric symbolism in here. There's Kabbalah in here. Um, and it is a really, really cool book. Um, this is one that um, helps you to dive deeper into the Rider Waite Smith. Um, 
I wouldn't say, well, yeah, I would say to the be for a beginner as well. I mean, because it can take you on an um, incredible journey. I mean, if you want to obviously just use the cards for readings, I mean, do you need something like this? Not really. Um, but if you want to delve deeper in the deck of cards, this is absolutely perfect. There's information for every single card as well. Um, it is like a scholarly work, so it will take some studying. Um, but it is really, really worth knuckling down with. Um, I've read this a couple of times and I've actually done lots and lots of the exercises in here. So if you can get yourself a copy of that one, that is a really booked, a good book to have on your bookshelves as well. Right, the next one I've had for years, um, since the late 90s, I think it is. Uh, when was this published? I've had this for many years. 2000, so I was on a year off. Um, this is a really cool book. Um, when Llewellyn used to do tarot books, they always used to kind of like put... Um, pictures of the available decks at the time so you know some of these decks are still available i think um but yeah i mean because there wasn't like a vast array of decks and like that was always in black and white um this is a really really good book it gives practical advice you can use you can take into your day it's very non-esoteric um it's very non-woo as well so it is a practical grounding book um that you can use um, and it's well worth reading through. There's lots of information in here. The Llewellyn books always used to be this like this oversized paperback. Um, and there's always been a lot of information in these Llewellyn books. Um, this one as well, I think it's sadly out of print, um, but you can pick this up. I mean, I've seen this on eBay, um, you know, for a couple of pounds and that. But I mean, if you're looking for something that kind of like, you know, is grounding daily advice you know you can kind of like get a lot from this book as well um you know you can see practical problem solving and advice that's by janina renee who also did tarot spells which i've also got um and this is uh, a lovely little book um and if you can get a copy it's well worth it on to my two newer ones um this one is by Anthony Louis, and this is the complete book of tarot published by Llewellyn, a uh, comprehensive guide. So <clears throat> this one, it says the definitive guide to reading the cards. Um, comprehensive and easy to use, Llewellyn's complete book of tarot it contains everything you've ever wanted to know about tarot. Join Anthony Louis as, Louis as he explores tarot history, shares card meanings and spreads, and provides detailed guidance that educates and inspires whether you're a beginner or an advanced reader. Discover basic reading and te techniques for a wide range of systems, including Marseille, Rider Waite and Thoth. Identify the meanings of associations, correspondences, reversals and dignities, and experience the ways that tarot interacts with astrology and personal spirituality. So this is basically a comprehensive book on all the different systems the main three systems and what Anthony has done um this is an incredible work um so you've got say for instance the meaning of the two of swords this is by the way illustrated with the Llewellyn classic tarot um it you know you don't obviously have to own that deck it's just a basic Rider White clone um, which is readily available and I've also seen this deck illustrated in Melissa's uh, Kitchen Table Tarot as well. By the way, that is an adorable book. There's so much information in there as well. Um, and that's Melissa Sinova's Kitchen Table Tarot, um, which I forgot to actually dig out to, to review. So you've got uh, the structure of the tarot deck um, from the beginning. And then the Esoteric decks, uh, the Solar Busca deck, the Visconti, uh, Visconti Sforza decks, and the Tarot of Marseille. Um, and then obviously you get onto the Emetic decks, the Rider White Smith, and the Toth, and everything like that. And so basically, this is an incredibly valuable, valuable book to have in your collection because it's got all the correspondences in here. And there's, <coughs> sorry the tree of life and what i do love about the book look is i will show you so you have got straight onto the fall 
Uh, is this the one? Is this the page? So you've got the full, the traditional, not numbered, and then the astrology, then the numerology, then the Hebrew letter, the myths and archetypes. Sorry if I'm holding this book and you can't see it. Um, Mother's explanation, Waits explanation, the golden dawn. And then everything in here is kind of like all the different systems as well. And it is an incredibly in-depth book if you want to add a lot more to your readings. Um, it's not one of them books you can just pick up and read in an evening. It does take a little bit of study, but it's well worth knocking down and persevering with. This is probably one of my favourite um, newer tarot books. Um, I've had this, I don't know, a couple of years now, maybe. Um, when was this published? Uh, da -da. This was published in 2016. Um, so yeah, I've had that like two, three years or maybe. Um, and it is a really good reference book. That I do notice that Llewellyn's complete book of, uh, they, they do a few, they are all very, very uh, intense and good books to add to your collection. So on to my last book um, that I've recommended. This is a step up from normal tarot books, and this is one I have used extensively. Um, this is by T. Susan Chang, and this is also published by Llewellyn, and this is Tarot Correspondences, Ancient, Ancient, Ancient Secrets for Everyday Readers, and this includes over 100 essential tables and charts. So this book is when you want to take your readings up to another level, because the main systems are correspondences in here of the elements, astrology, numbers, and Kabbalah. And there is so much information in this book. Um, this is not just a book you can just pick up and read either. You know, it shows you where the cards are on the Tree of Life as well. There's so much information in this book. It's absolutely incredible. You've got everything here from the deacons in astrology, um, the zodiac, um, there's the uh, round diagram of deacons and minor arcana. So this is a book for intense study. And there's lots of exercises to do in here as well. So you've got interpreting the elements, interpreting the cards, reading in triads. Um, this really isn't one for beginners. Um, this is a lot more of a study book than anything else. Um, but it is really, really what if you into astrology and all the correspondences in tarot, um, especially the occult side of things and the esoteric side of things, this is the book to get. I have got a few books like this, but this is the one um, I've turned to often for obviously astrological dates and things because I'm not too well versed up on astrology. Um, so that was my last one. Um, so if you notice, it's gone from beginner to intermediate to seasoned in the in the guidebook. So let's just start again. So that is the most um, obviously intensive book for study. Then we have that one. If you're interested in learning about the different symbols, this one is a really good basic everyday go for when you just want an answer and you just want a little bit more clarification on the cards this is an oldie but a goodie another study book but well worth adding to your collection this one i absolutely love um i recommend this book to everyone you know from a beginner to a more seasoned reader um this one is a, like a sort of like an edited version of 78 degrees of wisdom and this one is a fab book for self-reflection and using the cards for yourself. Now, I have absolutely hundreds of tarot books, so it was difficult to choose today um, which ones to kind of like, you know, show you on here, which ones I think that are really helpful. Um, but obviously you've got books like, as I said, Melissa's, Sonova's Kitchen Table Tarot. You've got Teresa Reed's uh, book. You know, there, there are an array of books and choices available. Um, some are obviously more aesthetic, um, aesthetically 
pleasing to the eye than others. Um, but like I mean, obviously that helps if you want to see the card on you know on the one page and then see the text on the other. And um, yeah, there's there's so many to choose from. I mean, these are just as few from my collection as I said. Um, and it's been nice today, you know, just showing off a few books instead of doing a deck review. So I hope this helps anyway. Um, please subscribe, leave me any comments um, underneath or if you want to ask me a question please feel free to answer um ask and i'll answer as best as i can so this has been martin um over from instagram on martin in the city thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a lovely day and i'll see you all soon bye bye